Leaning on Wilder. That's 271 pounds. It's a quick step. Boom, boom. Deontay Wilder doesn't have time to compute that shot. That has always been the thing with Tyson Fury. His physical stature, it belies his skill and his Let me tell you. Let me tell you. The knockdown is scored. A body shot to Wilder. Second time he's been down. To that neutral corner, and now Fury's looking to split the guard. As Wilder's in bad shape, this they the fight they is over. This TKO victory. And Tyson Fury knocks out Deontay Wilder, TKO seventh round. Um, Mark Breland put the towel in for a stoppage, and the writing was really on the wall throughout them. Um, first of all, apologize, Bernard Ricciar. I haven't slept much because I obviously go up to watch a fight and yeah, um, first round Fury was the aggressor, not much happened in the first two rounds, I mean I thought actually I thought that I could have judged it you know, the way they judged their first time round because I thought they'd do the same again if I can, they will try and Rob is a strong word, but um, if it's a close round, I think Wild and one of our judges did give Wild a second one, and I thought the second one was open to interpretation, you know. Um, but yeah, apart from I dominated every single, well, every round mainly. Um, third round catches Wilder, coming out of clinch, Wilder was on set and quick left hook right hand and goes down um, yeah when people call Tyson very fair fisted but he's never planted his feet and I think this is a way he'll um, develop his career now I think he he's not a fearsome puncher like Wilder was Wilder is but um he can punch and he's capable of turning Joshua's lights out, Dillian White's lights out, any heavyweight's lights out. Um, can we establish before everyone says, um, yes, Fury's probably now his ring magazine champ, WBC champ, and people do consider him to be the best in the world now. And, and, um, yeah, you can say he's the number one in the world, but he's not a definite number one in the world. For him to be definite number one, he's got to fight Joshua for to have all the marbles. He has every single belt he can have. He will have had the IBF, WBA, WBC, WBO, Ring, IBO titles. So that's our six titles, and um, yeah, too many belts in boxing nowadays, but um. Fairly dominant performance. Um, I think was it a shot that knocked Wilder down, split his year, and actually perforated it. Now, if anyone's been it around the year in boxing or sparring or fighting, even you know that it doesn't hurt you, but you do lose your balance and it looks worse than what it was. Um, yeah, pretty much. It was just a dominant performance. I, I think you could give a second to Wilder. Does that really matter? Um, have a stoppage. And have a stoppage is 59 50, 50. What's it? 59 52 and for two and 58 53 for one. Um, two knockdowns. Um, and Fury got detected by the fifth. And I'm just going to say, none of this matters, but if you look at the criticisms, I thought Kenny Bayless done a 
Some people say he done a good job, but I personally think he didn't do a great a job. I mean, it was going to get messy in the clinches. I think he tried to reduce the clinching on the inside work, personally. Um, and yeah, he, I think that point should have come off, but it is what it is, and I've really won the fight now. Literally, I wish I could break it down into a 20 25 minute video, but it's not much to break down. It was just simply a dis destruction by Tyson Fury. And I've never underrated him, but I've never, like. I've never respected him as much as I do now, purely being that, like. Um, the. Him and Wilder have slid Joshua off, and Joshua has got a far superior resume. And now, you can argue that Fury's resume is actually close, because, yes, Joshua's fought way more top tens. But listen, if, if Fury beats Joshua in style, points or knockout, I think you've got to put his resume up there, then. He took the... He took three belt holders out, he took Klitschko, Joshua and Fury, and I think that resume is brilliant and yeah, I've always had his shitty face like Tom Schwartz out the wall and trying to make him up to be something like that. Um, great, now I predicted before the fight, I thought that one of his job would be better, I got that right, I think his job was better, although he neglected it quite a lot. He quite shoot no one two no he didn't throw many double jabs or triple jabs. You can jab a jab but you don't know quite like Um He um He didn't commit to a jab enough, I think he when he was jabbing because he wanted for a right hand, um he um didn't throw a jab out long enough. And I think if he just stuck the job, didn't throw many right hands. That was one of his detriments, I think. But you can't take anything from Tyson Fury, I mean. I think early, to, late 260, 270s is a good weight for Fury. I think 250s is a bit. Because, guys, he did blow up to 400 pounds, don't forget. And I think he came in mid 240s, mid late 240s for Klitschko. He's outgrown now. I think he's a solid 260s guy now, and we saw him at Arco Valley, and he came in 254 and a half, and he looked, did look a bit sluggish, so I think if you had that extra weight, it does give him that energy, and yeah, um, I didn't say it's going to be a long video, probably is going to be a long video now, but um, yeah, it's just wild, wild, uh, um, Delusional is a strong word, but he has become too reliant in his power where he loses far too many rounds. Like, I don't I can't think of a round he probably won tidy last. Well, that's a bit too far, actually, but you know what I mean. He loses far too many rounds. Like, against Fury, you can argue he won four rounds almost. Um, he definitely won three rounds. I'd say four of the most. Um, yeah, um, so why the because he's become so delusional, so hyped up within his own power, I don't know he's going to come back from this, because people are so delusional and think of the unstoppable, um, we find it hard to take a loss, if you know that you're beatable, but like, what I'm trying to say is, not know if you're beatable, but like, you can handle a loss far more better than you do think about it sometimes. And yeah, um It was a shocking performance from Wild that we've seen bad from him, but we know we know excuse me, you can't box. Can't box is actually too strong, but I'm not gonna go back on it, you can't box with Fury. I think him and Joshua would still be a good fight, I think, like, Joshua would outbox him, but 
I don't Joshua as well. Because, let's face it, Joshua is on go of a builder for me. Joshua can't carry 270 pounds. He does come in early 240s or late 250s. And even then, I don't think if my. And. Yeah. So, that'll be a tough fight to call. Um. um with Wild, I think 231 was too heavy. I think he should be late 210s, 220s, early 220s. I think he's better. The weight the round he came in Louis Ortiz too. I mean, he, ga he gassed in the, in the third round, guys. He gassed quite quick. Even, and that was before the punish one really started to go on him. But I think credit to Fury, great performance. As I rate that higher than a Klitschko performance because it'd be a bit too hard to say why those feel because everyone knew we could get a box. But there was a fearsome puncher, and I think I'm not saying Klitschko wasn't a puncher, but yeah, I think I I rate that performance higher than his Klitschko performance. And where'd you go from here? You go the third. Third fight with Wild, I don't want to see it personally, I think it was far too one-sided um, to make a third fight. Um, I don't know why um, Shirley think will talk about third fight. I mean, the way they treat the Wild, I think Braun on disgust him. They're just trying to get his final payday now and they can hang him to dry lick. Um, I think... To be fair, he's 34 now, he's not getting any younger, maybe he needs his last few paydays. But, psychologically, how can he come back from I think you still give him a chance in a third fight, because of his punch power, you can't underestimate his punch power, but... He does not have a back for him, and... Well, they exposed that, and I look like quite a tit with my prediction, I thought my prediction was... My prediction was his reasons and I have fair reasons for it. I just didn't re I just didn't know that um I didn't know that um Fury would be able to go on the front foot the way he did and force away the back so much and the weight the weight they both came out affected while the more Fury I think like well this wouldn't have been a heavy where Wild is concerned I think he could not fight again in twenty twenty maybe. I don't see a third fight. I see twenty twenty one. He comes back, or late twenty twenty. I don't think he. They're on about to do win the third fight in the summer. I think maybe that's even too early. For, he needs a long time away to, to um look at himself and think where do I go from here. I well, I think that's suitable. In terms of theory, best thing for theory I think is just to keep this, this um momentum go in I think because if he has a break for too long or well I mean, you still see him sometimes you know his body language and I does look like sometimes he can slip back the way he was which is honestly something you don't want to experience um I think he's got to keep his momentum going as he said training is like a medication for him um take a couple of weeks you know go in the gym um, do mild sessions, just go to the gym, just to occupy himself, he doesn't have to do serious training yet. And, um, give him six weeks and I think, put him back in training. Mild, like I say, go to back in training mildly and then, um, leave have a third fight with Wilder, which I do recommend for Wilder, like I just said, or, oh, I'm sure, I'm so um he'll have a voluntary no one he they won't give him, he he can have a voluntary shot if well that doesn't take a rematch. Which God knows who the opponent could be, it could be double easy top fifteen. And I think he'll take an easier fight to be honest. Um but yeah. Credit to Wilder um it's hard, you know, he's a tough tough guy.
he really got dropped a few times. His heart was in and one last thing, I know I'm going on a bit now, but um but um very strange for I think it comes from Clarissa Shields and some athletes, yeah I know you wanna go out and shield but the amount of beating you've taken, I thought those were strange comments and we see where it goes but for now guys, thank you.